So my name's uh, Ruth Schultz. I'm a researcher with the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia. I'm working on the LingoDroid project, which is basically getting robots to talk to each other using their own language. Uh, so they talk about places in the world uh, and the relationships between those places. They start off by playing where are we games, where one of them asks the other one where they are, uh, and the other one makes up a new word for that place. After playing lots of those games, they end up with lots of place names in the world, or toponyms. Um, and then they can use these, once they're, they're established, uh, to form the relationships, uh, concepts for relationships. So they can play how far or what direction games to get distances and directions. And the exciting thing is that once they've got this basic toponymic language uh, and the distances and directions, the relationships, they can talk about what's over there uh, and actually expand their toponymic lexicon to places beyond the edges of their world. So they can actually talk about these imagined places uh, as well as the real ones. Our overall aim uh, is to, to develop robots that can uh, communicate effectively uh, and meaningfully uh, with, with humans and with other robots. So to do that, it, it's important that they actually have real grounded meanings uh, for the concepts, for the words that they're using. Uh, it's not just uh, symbols that are linked to nothing. They're actually linked to the real uh, actual representations that the robots form while they, while they explore their world. The important thing to note about language uh, is that it changes. Uh, it changes over time as, as people use words in different ways. They invent new words, uh, words change their meanings, other words get lost in the language. Uh, so it's important um, that the robots not only know what the current meaning of words are, but they be able to learn and adapt to, to, um, to the, these new meanings. Uh, so that's, that's what we're aiming towards.